three cards over there. I gotta hope no single combats. <laughs> Another Taric. I gotta hope no single combats and no concerted strike. So if they have either of those two cards, I lose. Okay, now it's just single combat. They have single combat, I lose. There is nowhere left to go but up. If they don't, we probably win, honestly. Never submit. Well, I don't know about necessarily win, but. I trust my instincts. Life's gonna be pretty good if they don't have single combat. All right, good. They invested a ton of resources in these two champions. Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tom Lux. This is gonna be a Tom Kench deck built around det detain and capture and trying to level up Tom Kench. So we're going to have our, our Tom Kench is going to be our champion, uh, main champion here. Of course, it says that I've captured three plus allies. That's whenever it levels up or just three, sorry, just three plus units. Um, and so you have the acquire taste that Tom Kench creates that allows it to level up whenever you're playing your acquire taste. But that's not the only way. You can also capture with detain. And that's what we're going to be pairing it with. Tom Kench with Demacia with detain. We have three copies of Detain, as well as three copies of Mage Seeker Investigator that will be able to create a Detain if you've cast a six plus cost spell this game, which honestly isn't going to be that easy for us to do. We're playing Remembrance, but we really want Remembrance to be less than six mana, not actually six mana. We'll have an Unyielding Spirit to be able to protect our Tom Kench. And then we'll also have Mage Seeker Conservators that will create some six plus cost spells. Now that I kind of say all that, maybe maybe these Mage Seeker Investigators are not going to be the best. But um, anyway, we'll we'll give it a try. We're going to try it out there uh, with having uh, more ways to create detains if it does work. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be our deck. So it's going to be uh, trying to level up Tom Kench and get this going and then have the acquired taste for it and everything like that. Um, not going to be super easy, but that's the goal. We'll have a Chain Vest to be able to... Uh, protect Tom Kench, Prismatic Barrier, of course that'll also help, and then we got Sharp Sights um, as well. You can see that we're also going to play like some other units that can die and that can create more units. I feel like Jaw Hunters and Boxtopus are cards that are kind of well positioned right now because with everybody playing Sivir, it's really hard to like block and kill Sivir or use spells and kill Sivir or Ruin Runner, like those kind of things. And so you kind of need to challenge them. And so that's why we got like this one box to put in here and some Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters can take down a Sivir, you know, or a Ruin Runner or something like that. Bright Steel Protector is a good card that can help out our challengers or uh, give a barrier to Tom Kench. Either way. And there we go. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some games with Tom Lux. Now that you know all about the deck, we'll go play our five games in normal. Because that's what we do here on Meme Tier Days. We just play them on over in normal. And we have Karma Ezreal for our first game. Okay. I like our hand. Let's see. So yeah, Karma Ezreal. Okay. I basically I like these two things, and honestly, I like Sharp Sight also. We'll go ahead and get rid of the Purify. The reason why we have one Purify in here is not only is Purify just like randomly a good card sometimes, like whenever you really want to silence one of their followers, but it works perfectly with the detains that we create over on our side, because then we can have we can detain stuff behind our own follower, and then we silence it with the Purify. And then even whenever it dies, they will not get their units back. So it's a little bit of a combo there. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. So I was planning on going round three remembrance. That was kind of my plan the whole time. But 
then I kind of thought about deny, and that that would hurt. Like if I just go remembrance on three and they denied it, that would hurt. So I'm just gonna play some egghead researchers. We made some good dragons, screeching dragon, infinite mind splitter. Yeah, we need to get our mastery level on Kench up, don't we? That's good that we're playing Tom Kench deck. Hopefully we can get some wins and get that mastery up. Wow. It's fine with me. Trading the little egghead researcher for a valuable removal spell like Gotcha. It wasn't even like a second spell for Eye of the Dragon. I know it costs two less right there, but... I'm not so sure about that one. Okay, no deny available. I'm gonna play this Remembrance, and, and it's important to have a six plus cost spell cast. All right, so now, whenever we find those Mage Seeker Investigators, we got our six plus cost spell. Sorry, Tom Kench, I gotta protect. Oh, just salesperson. Just like, huh. Come here. Okay, so they're gonna be bouncing my Screeching Dragon. And that's not great for me. Protect and strike. Yeah, I don't know why I wanna attack with both. I'm gonna save the other. I'm just gonna save my three spell mana here. I'm gonna save the other Bright Steel Protector. I'm gonna be saving the Sharp Side. I'm not using Sharp Sight on this. Sharp Sight can be pretty valuable. Ooh, I could use it right here to kill the Eye of the Dragon. So it can be valuable at blocking Ezreal. I'm gonna hold on to it though to, to be able to block Ezreal and stuff like that. You know, the Draglings can be a problem, they can add up. Lots of good options. Lots of good options. Oh, it's you. I, mean, I guess uh, Lux just uses my mana I know you? the most. One shot, all skill. No, this is wrong. I should be I should be putting this on the Egghead Researcher. Because if they have Will of Ionia, this gives them a really good Will of Ionia. I should be I should be doing that on the Egghead Researcher. All right, well that works. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna have them waste their round. Because, you know, like, once I play the Screeching Dragon, they don't want to play, like, if they have, like, a Karma or something like that, they don't want to play it anymore. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing! Where there's a will, there's a meal. Let's try to eat this Eye of the Dragon and see what happens. Alright, just one damage. So that's two mana for Lux. Nothing escapes my notice. Really? You thought I would never ask, huh? Wonder why that is. All right, so spending the two mana on the purifying, of course, to get the final spark. If I don't play the screech, the thing is, if I don't play the screeching dragon, they're not playing the Ezreal. But if I don't play the screeching dragon, then I would have the mana now for unlicensed innovation, and then get another final spark. And so I kind of wish I would have done that. He 
peace begins within. All right, so they got both their champions. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Oh, I definitely was considering doing just the Bayou Brunch on a dragon. Now they drew the Prismatic Barrier. I wish I did. Yeah, we got some different different lines to go. I I kind of wouldn't mind playing Infinite Mind Splitter. I wouldn't mind passing. Okay, we're gonna go with the Unyielding Spirit line. So obviously, it's it's basically Will of Ionia. It's like the the one card that can deal with this or deny. Okay, I guess they have a second deny. That works as well. Reconsider. They don't know what they're up against. All right, so they have tapped out. I kind of want to buy you brunch and eat a dragon, but I also want to open attack and challenge the dragons. No, we're at zero out of six right now. So I'm not, not close to that. Saucy, thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody from Saucy's stream. We got Tom Kench Lux. Actually, I could just do, you know what? All right, final answer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, okay, good. Woo, make sure, I almost, I was really scared I did that the wrong way. Okay, so now that we have three mana on with the Lux, now a Prismatic Barrier will give, give us a laser immediately. Need to kill that thing. Honor, guide me. Need to kill a lot of things, but let's start here. So that's an Ezreal's Mystic Shot. I mean, they make two Ezreal's in their deck? That's kind of nice. All right, so auto, final spark. Okay, so the first one busts up the spell shield, and then it'd be one, three, five, so a sharp side is not gonna save that. Man, that is so much damage. Yeah, we got some Tom Kench. At least we trying with Tom Kench. So my plan is like Final Spark, Acquire Taste, and Remembrance to be able to make another Final Spark. Man, we're all the way down to seven though. They've played two denies so far. have a very good uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have very good faith that we're gonna be winning this game that's only at five uh, hoping for radiant guardian Excuse my 
they got so many cards over there. It was looking good for us. The the round, I guess it was like round nine, round ten, when they passed, and I I played that the second screeching dragon. I really needed to pass there because then that's that's whenever they you know got the karma in play and all sorts of other stuff. I I should have passed as well. That round. Radiant Guardian? No, another Screeching Dragon. Which? Screeching Dragon, not bad. We'll take it. By the light. But between all those cards and having Karma and Ezreal, you gotta imagine they can kill me. Oh, I sure hope they can't, but you gotta imagine that they can. Just Nexus damage. Obviously, they're not gonna be doing any attacking damage. We guys think they can do five Nexus damage. Ezreal can do that. Ezreal can kill you super fast. Just all spells you can't interact with. I mean, it's a good sign so far. They didn't kill me right here when they couldn't, you know, you'd think that if they had the ability to, they would have. And they didn't. So, come on, Tom Kench. One time. Get the 27 damage in. Hopefully they have all nopifies and denies. Two Hexite Crystals. That's an unfortunate way to lose. <laughs> Why does that have to do damage to the enemy Nexus? Oof. Oof is right. Who knows? Maybe, like, you know, with the passing. Yes, maybe not. Alright, I think this is going to be difficult to stabilize. The other one was, you know, we need to try to kill them before Ezreal kills us, which we were not able to do. Radiant Guardian, I needed you. This one is going to be more difficult to stabilize. So, Detain's going to go. Well, this is a good start, though, right? One drop, two drop, and then some Radiant Guardians. Okay. Recite, protect me. Track them down. If I'm forgotten, then... I think I'm just gonna pass, actually. I'm just gonna save the spell mana. I don't really want them to know about the box to post. I don't really want them to vile feast box to post and stuff like that yet. As far as like if they're it's a decent chance they had like Merciless Hunter. I don't want them just to be able to like Merciless Hunter my box post and then have the three ones trade, right? Like I want to do some fair trading. Go get him, Bucks to Puss. All right, we're about to start dropping some Radiant Guardians. It's going to be a good way to stay alive and keep the game going. Wow. Just killing the 3-3 three -three like that.
All right, you got me. Justice will be served. You got me. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. With a little time, I'll have a right steel formation. The emperor commands. The land obeys. Devour depths. Eclipse dragon. Man, we are we got some heavy hitters up in here. It's the thing. I don't have like a ton of top end in the deck, but with like these egghead researchers and jaw hunters, we saw like they will create some top end for us. I hope it's just Vile Feast and not Black Spear, because I can't I can't stop Black Spear, but I can stop a Vile Feast with a sharp sight. So this is Nasus, right? Yeah. Ugh, it is Black Spear. Alright, so that's four out of six for Thrash. We need to draw our detains. Detains are good against Nasus. Detains are just kinda good in this matchup, because they don't play a whole lot of hard removal. So we kind of just need to draw Detains. Detain. Ooh. Kind of thought that was it with the spell border. <laughs> I thought I had it. Obliterate the Thresh. Nice. Got there. That's alright. I'd rather them have another Thresh than have a Nasus. They could have played that Thresh as a, as a, um, the box, though. They could have done that. And chose not to. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I wasn't really considering the double sharp sight. Maybe I should have done that. You not you're not enabled yet? Yeah, why don't I really consider the double sharp side? I definitely should have Yeah, I definitely should have done the second sharp side as well. Okay. So now the Mage Seeker Investigator is enabled. Wish I had another mana for the Tom Kench, but I don't. I don't want to attack and let more things die to and level that thing up. I think I have okay block still. Like I don't need to. I'm gonna save that two spell mana. Bright steel formation. Hmm. So I think they think that they're going to be leveling up their Nasus with that. But I'll just take some damage on the Nasus. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, and I'm going to just immediately play this thing to create a Detain in case of Nasus Champion spell. Or whatever. Like, if I, if I attack and they go, like, Vile Feast, get rid of a barrier kind of thing, I want to have, like, this Detain available. Attacking with everything does allow a lot of things to die, and then the Thresh level up. My comestibles are getting cold. My diet is expensively unique. Kind of think I just pass. Even though I can, even though obviously it's a great attack, but 
We give them a leveled up thrash, and I don't think we give them a leveled up thrash. Appetizers of Trinity. Oh, that card would have been good to have. Wrap him up tight. Basically relying on the... Alright, cool. I was going to say relying on the unyielding spirit. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Man, I want to keep unyielding spirit up. I'm worried about deny. As far as just like slamming the unyielding spirit, they got deny. Man, I keep forgetting about my sharp side, aren't I? Yeah, because I could have just sharp sided the Radiant Guardian, that would have threatened killing the Nasus, and then wouldn't have had to worry about using the Detain yet. Probably would have made things a little easier. What kind of removal are they playing that kills Tom Kench? Like, Atrocity? We love it when they run! Hmm. This is risky right here, so the, let's see, they'd have to have like Vile Feast plus Black Spear. Which is definitely possible. I don't want to risk that. Because my sharp side wouldn't protect it from that. Okay. I'm attacking in. Let's just kind of see what happens. The dark closes in. So they, we have captured one Nasus. There's two Nasus left. Quit struggling. They are allowing everything to die. <laughs> Looks like it. That's kind of surprising that that spider just goes away whenever all this other stuff would go away. I would think they would get, get to keep that spider. Only four cards left. them to keep drawing cards. Okay, they're just having two cards left. So they probably don't have deny. They haven't used deny on, on this stuff. Okay, well, that'll do. We'll just have the Tom Kench that can't die. They can't really get through that. They like the only way we can lose is Nasus Atrocity. Um, but then I'm gonna play my next round. I'm definitely playing the three mana thing that creates the detain and basically just hold on to the detain and make sure that we don't lose to uh, Nasus Atrocity. 
Viego Callista with Demacia. This is kind of scary. Demacia is kind of making me think that they have Spectral Matron Cythria at the top end, and Spectral Matron Cythria sounds super scary. I don't know if I'll need... Actually, we'll just keep it. Okay, I was going to say I don't know if I'll need this Twisted Fate. We'll just keep it. We're going to have, you know, Tom Ken Sharp Sight stuff. Yep, dragons. This... So they have Dragon Chow. Dude, Boxtopus has been overperforming. Dragon Chow, no Shivana. That's unfortunate. I definitely want to eat that Dragon Chow for free. Right, there's all these Shadow Isle dragons now. It's two mana to play Jaw Hunters right now. I could see that being a mistake and just saving the spell mana being the better play. I don't know. It's a pretty even game. We each have the exact same amount of cards and same amount of mana at the beginning of the round. Good thing of what that Joel Hunters did is it uh, makes it so you know, like we're not facing down a, a fast army or anything right now. The White Flame Protector. Could try to trade with Beast Below. That's what it, so Egghead Researcher created that. My Joel Hunters created this. <laughs> this has been a very even game. We're both kind of playing the same kind of stuff. Everybody's glimpsed beyonding my acquired tastes. So this will be my six mana spell for the investigator. So they wanted me to acquire taste that O1. They put that in there like, try eating this tasty morsel. And I was like, nah. All right, so they found the second Camivoran soldier. So now Viego is going to have six power. I think that was a key thing that they were doing is, is looking for another one of those to have six power. Viego. So I couldn't eat it. Well, this going to hurt, but I'm not letting them keep a Hydra Vine out here. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Um, I, I don't know anything at all about server transfers between EU and NA and stuff. I, I don't know anything at all about it. Maybe somebody in chat knows something. Strike for justice. Magic has no place here. All right, we got multiple detains to help protect this Tom Kench. Yeah. 
It's not great at all. It's not easy to beat Special Matron Cythria combo. That's what we're trying to do. But it is not easy. If they have any kind of removal here, any kind of interaction for this. We kind of lose. Do that. No. Do that. Yeah. All right, good game. That is game over. And I'll show you why. We still know we still know they have the Cythria, they get these things back. I can't take care of all this stuff. So, GG's. Okay. Tarek Jarvin. I think I'm just gonna look at all the five mana cards. Detain the detain's the one that I was thinking about keeping. I don't we don't really need Radiant Guardian, I don't think. Um, but this could, you know, could be really nice to detain, like a, a Jarvan or a Tarek. You know, either one, really. Love having the Bright Steel formation. This card can win these kind of Demacia Mirrors. It's our version of Spectral Matron Cythria, <laughs> like our opponent had last round. Obviously, passing here, we're not gonna not gonna have box to post get challenged. Protect and strike. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit play. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Okay, so I have to attack here. I'm not sure if it's better to kill that or the Fleet Feather Tracker. You kind of imagine they're just going to have a good amount of challengers anyway. Each life a rare jewel. So if they want to attack, we'll kill whatever they challenge. Too bad. Of course, if they would have blocked and used a trick or something, then I would have had my Radiant Guardian, but now I think we just go with the Kench. Yeah. They can use a sharp sight, you know, and copy it over and all that kind of stuff, and kill the Tom Kench, but we do have the detains now. My shield is yours. Huh. Alright, no single combat, so that's that's three out of seven for Tarek leveling up. Oh no, that's only two, right? So, oh, right sorry. So it's two out of seven for Tarek leveling up. My steel is yours. Dazzling. That's a Jarvan right there. Okay, hope they don't have single combat. We're gonna try to just eat up this Jarvan. No, no, they had single combat. Uh, the only card. Well, that's too bad. If I play this, we'll have seven mana next round. If I don't play it, we'll have 10. Man, that's too bad. Will you comply, or are you complicit? Mm. 
I don't like our chances here. They got both champions in play. Usually a good, uh, a good thing to win games is to have your champions in play. No closer. That was basically two mana single combat trading with my four mana champion and a five mana spell. Like together for, for one two mana card. That was a killer. Jarvan's really well positioned these days. I thought about putting Jarvan in this deck instead of Lux. I fight for the fallen. If they have a barrier plus rally or just, you know, like a rally effect, it's got to be game over. If they got it, they got it. All right, good. Not the rallies. Now I have ten mana, so enough mana for both detains. Can try to detain behind this tough radiant guardian. Three cards over there. I gotta hope no single combats. <laughs> Another Derek. I gotta hope no single combats and no concerted strike. So if they have either of those two cards, I lose. Okay, now it's just single combat. They have single combat, I lose. There is nowhere left to go but up. If they don't, we probably win, honestly. Never submit. Well, I don't know about necessarily win, but. I trust my instincts. Life's gonna be pretty good if they don't have single combat. All right, good. Our best draw now is honestly Purify to make it where they can't get their champions back. They invested a ton of resources in these two champions. A good reason to play the Bright Steel pr formation here, there you go, is going to be Jarvan, right? Because with Jarvan, Jarvan can come down attacking and challenge the strongest enemy. I do not want that strongest enemy to be Radiant Guardian. And so I want to play something that's going to be larger than the Radiant Guardian. I can throw down both champions this round. It's kind of still all about like single combat and concerted strike, right? Like if they have one of those, they can kill my radiant guardian. They got a chance. Stay safe, my lady. It'd be tough if they don't have that though. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Stay focused. That's gonna kill. It's gonna kill this bright seal formation. Oh, they don't have the mana. Never back down from what you believe. They missed that too. They thought that they were going to be having the Jarvan come over here and challenge. There we go. Wow, what a win. Super close game. Detain. The power of Detain. Timo. They gotta be playing the, the new scout card, right? Demacia Teemo. Gotta be trying to give Teemo scout. That's gotta be the plan. Let's keep a Remembrance and keep a Jaw Hunter. So like round three, I can either, I can do one or the other. Most likely cast this Remembrance on three. We shall see. So they're gonna want to scout Teemo on three. I feel bad for them that we got a Sharp Sight. Because Sharp Sight can block Teemo. Third straight Demacia deck that we have played. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. 
Yeah, we haven't done a scout teamo deck yet ourselves. There it is, Scout Teemo. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Danger paid. I'll scout ahead. Drill him in. Oh, sharp sight. So I was thinking, like, you know, play the Jaw Hunters, do this block. I can Jaw Hunters now challenge the Ballistic Bont, and then play Remembrance. But the problem with that is then the Remembrance then costs five, so we won't create the Detain. But we'll be able to play it this round. Kind of feel like we'll have the Mage Seeker Conservator. All right, that's fine. This will be able to create a six plus cost spell. Keeping, I'm not gonna block there. I'm gonna keep the sharp side available to block another scout teamo. All right, now radiant guardian or screeching dragon. Okay, that's acceptable. We'll take a swift wing lancer. We have twice as many cards in hand as they do. Lux. Petricide protect me. Prime and ready. Rise, metal brethren. Let's pass. I, I lose out on one mana. Go no farther. Magic. Monster Harpoon. Monster Harpoon's pretty interesting. The sun is shining. We should too. But to be fair, all of our stuff's pretty interesting. Okay, they're fighting back. They got lots of cards over there now. These ballistic bots are gonna do a lot of work. Planning on using this monster harpoon right here and killing the ballistic bond. Not a lot, you know. S stop all this shenanigans from happening. Dude, Mage Seer Conservator is very good. For just a, for a one drop. That card's really underrated. Ooh. Okay, they're really suiting that thing up. That's one way to keep your Ballistic Bond alive. May do a bunch of damage here with these Mushroom Clouds. I'm worried about like blocking the Ballistic Bond and then they Mystic Shot the Lux. And you can buff these up and... Okay, I'm, I'm glad that they only did that amount. I, I am very surprised they didn't do more damage to me, honestly. Maybe I, maybe I need to block the bot. Bot's doing work. Can you improve perfection? There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Alright, so I'm at eight. No pup caps right now. Should have stayed home, pal. 
Well, I'm down to seven. I'll just play this Terror of the Tides, I suppose. All right, see what they got? Cool. Basically saying cool because that was not a puff cap. That's what I'm excited about. Get this peddler out of here before we get more puff caps. I've always been a fun guy. So the bad part here is that I get um, a final spark that I can't cast. My journey continues. But we shall open attack and hopefully get a win. Hopefully we don't just draw seven puff caps on the top card. GG's, all right. Three and two. Would it help if I apologized? Yeah, that that swap bot is really good because yeah, you get to you get to swap with uh, the opponent's units. So like if they have like a big Viego or something like that, yeah, you you can swap with it. Um, that's that's what makes the swap bot good is being able to swap with your opponents. I think that that could be like a tool. Like remember whenever we were playing. So it's in Piltover and Zon, and we were playing Zillion and Echo decks, and we couldn't handle the really large units because there just wasn't removal for um, the big units. Because people at that time were playing more um, dragons and uh, not yetis, what are they called? Thralls. The Thralls. Like the 8-8 the Thralls were like super annoying and the big dragons and stuff like that. And so you can go swap bot and just switch with the 8-8 from the Thrall or, you know, switch with the 7-7 seven, seven Eclipse Dragon, like, stuff like that. And that could give you an an answer, kind of, to the large stuff. One swap bot can take out a couple of Yetis, or, sorry, a couple of Thralls. Like, you, you switch with one Thrall, and then you block the other Thrall. Anyway, uh, there we go. There was Tom Kench Lux. Got to finish with a winning record. Fun games. Uh, you know, going to be, like, your slower... Uh, control deck, but the Detains looked good. They really did. Like, we uh, definitely won some games there with the back of Detain. And we had Normal Detain and then Mage Seeker Investigator Detain. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty nice of Detain with Tom Kent. We were able to take down, uh, you know, whether it was um, some Jarvan and Tarek that couldn't take damage or die, or whether it was Nasus or anything like that like they had some real big stuff that detain was able to answer and so that was pretty cool that was pretty cool all right but that's tom lux those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments i always appreciate those comments um, and uh yeah and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video